Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to vlog day number 120. Today I'm actually at the National Museum of Bonsai and uh, it's located in Shawakinan Park that's in Tachikawa within Tokyo. And uh, they have some very, very old uh, bonsai in this bonsai garden. And I'm gonna show you guys some of them. One is the bonsai that's 300 years old. Let's go and have a look. The bonsai garden is located within the paid section of Shawakinan Park. Admission varies depending on your age, ranging from 410 to free. This is a very large park, so I took the park train down to the garden. The bonsai garden is located within the Japanese garden that's within the Shawakinan Park. Bonsai are trees of a certain age that have been planted in pots or on rocks and carefully cultivated and shaped to express various natural refinements. And this is where the very, very old bonsai is kept. Meet the Sakhalin spruce, estimated to be over 300 years old. Can you imagine? Three centuries. This magnificent living art of a bonsai is that old. The owner's affection is a very integral part of the longevity of the bonsai. One of the reasons why it lives so long is that the owner never forgets to water the bonsai. Bonsai trees are so small because they are cultivated in small pots. Their roots are restricted and growers regularly clip new buds, branches and roots. This is essential to keep it this small. This is the one that's 300. Remember I told you guys that earlier and you've seen it up close and personal. So I just spoke to one of the caretakers. So during the springtime, you water it once per day. When it's summertime, it's watered twice per day. And in, during the winter period, every two days you water it once. So you're seeing that once the, when the soil is dry, then you give it water. If it's wet, you don't give it any water. 300 years of dedication and care. And it's still here. Here we have a Japanese white pine that has lived for over a century, estimated to be over 130 years old. And this magnificent work of art is the Japanese maple cultivar that's estimated to be 110 years old. Here we have a horn beam that's estimated to be 130 years old. Right next to it we have the Shimpaku Juniper that has lived over 250 years and counting. That white portion on the trunk right there is actually dead wood and it's a bleached and putrefied portion that has been withering over the centuries. This one right here is a Japanese white pine that is 100 years old. And right next to it, we have a Chinese quince that's estimated to be 90 years old. Now we're making our way down to the creeping juniper that's estimated to be 160 years old. If we should take a closer look at the white portion of the trunk that I spoke about earlier, it's that color because a mixture of lime and sulfur is applied to prevent further withering. This creates a contrast between the living brown areas, the withered white areas and green leaves. I think this makes it an even more beautiful specimen. Mm -hmm. 
Here we have the needle juniper that's estimated to be over 150 years old. You can see that this needle juniper also has the same white portion on the trunk, a very easily identifiable feature that uh, tells a little bit about how old this is. Here we have another Japanese white pine that's about 130 years old. Here we have another Shimpaku juniper that is over 200 years old. And you can tell the different type of bonsai by the shape. As you can see that this one is a little bit different. This one is called a Kengai as far as the shape is concerned. And then they have about six more types that you can tell simply by looking at it and observing the shape. And here we have the beautiful contrast again, white wood, brown wood, and green. This bonsai garden is definitely worth visiting. So if you are ever within the Western Tokyo region, be sure to stop by. It's within the Shawakinan Park, within the Japanese garden. It is quite something, a very tranquil and serene environment. Visitors consist of both Japanese and foreigners from abroad. As we make our way inside the information area, we will see another bonsai. Clippings are also done inside uh, this building. Then we have these really, really Chisai or small bonsai. That one right there is like four inches. This is how small this is. It's about four inches in height. There you go. That's how small those are. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe for a ton of videos from Tokyo. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.